talk a little bit about what we're what we're doing right now. Uh, so pretty much what we're doing right now is we're going to uh, the tackle store so that we can pick up some lighter stuff. And lighter stuff for me is 30 pound fluorocarbon, but I'm picking up some 30 pound fluorocarbon and some 50 pound tactical, or tactical anglers clips. And we are getting ready to go to Cape Cod and do some fishing, which I'm super excited about. Um, I, I'm still very, I'm a little bit nervous though because it is still very early mm -hmm. for, you know, striped bass fishing. And there's been minimum, like, not a lot of reports saying that there are bass on Cape Cod, but um, there are a few. I mean, there's whispers that certain people are getting bass with sea lice, and hopefully, we should be, if we're lucky enough and we're in the right spot and we play our cards right on Monday, we'll be able to get into some, a few schoolies, would be very, very sick. We got the goods. Jack with the hookup. Okay. So we did like an online order. So the cool thing about Tomo's Tackle is you can or order online and they come by and pick up and they'll hand you the gear. So really what I just grabbed is a pack of 50 pound tactical anglers clips and 30 pound blue label cigar. As you guys know very well, I fish primarily as heavy as I can go all the time. But the thing is, like, even 30 pound test, we're catching like 15 to 20 inch bass right now. Um, and I just talked to Jack and I asked, like, what's going on. And he said that he's heard reports of mackerel in uh, Cape Cod. And there are fresh fish, but it's been tough to find them. Uh, they've been moving through and into Cape Cod. And uh, they've been kind of like holdover kind of fresh fish. And there's small windows where they're feeding. So it's gonna be interesting to try to find those small windows. I'm so pumped right now, I'm so excited to get them. Uh, so hopefully in the next few, few days we can get on some fish. That is absolute money. See, I tied that little bucktail teaser. So the reason I'm out here right now is I'm testing out if these plugs will work with inline singles or just different weights and stuff uh, just before I actually start fishing with them. Just tweaking these plugs, just making sure they're all working well, like putting these bucktail teasers on the jumping minnow here works great, so I'm super pumped about that. The SP minnows also worked fantastic, so again, I'm super pumped that the fish with those inline singles, because again, much healthier for the fish, much better for me as well.
at this point, doubt started to creep in, which is a killer when you're trying to catch fish. I was starting to think about how far we drove, how much time and effort I put into researching spots, and how it could all be for nothing. Ah, it's so frustrating. On our way out to the jetty, I realized that there was an estuary that looked very promising. So before we left, I decided to give it one last shot. Once we returned from Cape Cod, I had a few days of contemplation. I thought a lot about what I did right and a lot about what I did wrong. But at the end of the day, it didn't matter. I didn't catch any fish. The thing about failure is, the more you fail, the sweeter it is when you actually succeed. My excitement started to build once I heard the first reports of people starting to pull bass from the rivers of Cape Ann with sea lice. I decided to attack it on an extremely windy and wavy day. These were extraordinarily difficult conditions to actually catch fish in. Pulled up to the beach. There's a dead striped bass here. Um, so, well, I guess we know they're in. This is not what I would like to have seen, but uh, you know, it, it's a good sign that the bass are around. Okay. Yeah, it's nasty. It's ridiculously windy right now. So we went a little bit further uh, south on Cape Ann. Uh, and hopefully we can get into some fish here. It's a north wind blowing. Uh, I, I was, I'm just gonna go out a little bit. I'm actually gonna cast right behind there and work the pencil and see if I can hopefully get on. Still hunting for that first fish of the season. the SP mineral around a little bit and see if that will catch us something. It's a good early spring plug.
I'm like so close to just giving up and not fishing for like a month. I'm like that upset. Then I'll have spent close to 30 hours fishing this past week without catching a single fish. 30 hours. I don't think I could be any more frustrated right now. Put 36 hours into anything and get zero reward. Frustration level is maxed out. It's like, what can you do, you know? But all you can do is put in the time, and then if you can catch something, great. If you can't, <laughs> then you're just like, I feel like I suck right now, because I spent so long, literally so long this past week. Uh, my shit's on here, and it's just gotten zero payoff the entire week. It's just frustrating. though I felt like I was gonna give up, I knew that there was no point. My drive to catch that first fish of the season was too strong, and the bass were becoming more prevalent each tide. Reports of a strong south wind blowing onto the rocks of Cape Ann gave me the suspicion of bass starting to push rain bait around and maybe even starting to blitz on them. of the fisherman's dilemma where there's just a stupid amount of bait around um, and incredible blitzing and waves absolutely full of fish, but uh, we weren't able to catch it, uh, which sucks. But uh, I need to get away from this bait. Uh, rain bait is horrible for fishing. Everybody knows it's the most, it's the hardest profile to match. The bass never eat your plugs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the estuaries and I'm gonna go target the bass that are feeding on herring. Bass 
fast of the season. Very fresh, there's no sea lice on them. So I'm assuming it's probably a holdover bass. Okay, let's hold them in the water. You guys think I'm overreacting? But you just watched how hard I worked for this one fish. I'm gonna release this guy. There he goes. Wow, he just launched out of there. Let's get some more. 